to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. In this kingdom, our dominion is at the instance of the mysteries of the kingdom that we understand. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11. Jesus is teaching and he said, It has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Let's read Job chapter 29. Job chapter 29. Follow carefully while I read beginning from verse 1. Job chapter 29. Beginning from verse 1. This was a man who manifested supernatural dimensions of grace and job is leading us is like a tour to explore his spiritual pathway to show us the secret behind him being a sign and a wonder are you ready pay attention moreover job continued verse one his parable and said all oh, that i were in the months past as in the days when god preserved me verse three when his candle you see the secret now when his candle shined upon my head and when by his light i walked through darkness so there were two kinds of light that job was exposed to in order to be great the first was the lights that came upon his head illumination the second was the lights that was up his path direction you need those two kinds of light if you have direction without illumination you will still waste your time the light that shines upon your head and the light that shines upon your path these are the levels of lights that equip you for a life of exploits let's continue as i was in the days of my youth when the secret of the lord was upon my tabernacle when the almighty was yet with me when my children were about me verse 6 it says when i washed my steps with butter and the rock poured out oil out rivers of oil seven when i went out to the gate through the city when i prepared my seat in the street we're reading to verse 10 the young men saw me and hid themselves because of the level of results the effulgence of the possibilities of the spirit that emanated from him the agent arose and stood up the princes refrained talking and laid their hands on their mouths. The nobles held their peace and their tongue cleaved to the roof of their mouth. What a man. Job said, you see all these exploits? Behind them were these mysteries. The secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. It was by his light upon my head and his light on my path. Thy word, O Lord, he said, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. There cannot be dominion in ignorance. There is a relationship between knowledge and power. Knowledge and dominion. This kingdom is a kingdom that operates by light. The Bible says God made many lights, but he made two great lights. And the first light to rule the day and the second light to rule the night. All lights rule. Whether it's in the day or the night. Light has always been associated with dominion the people that sat in darkness have seen a great light is that true isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 kjv says arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you amplified says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light we need light man of god you need light politician you need light for god to open your eyes to see what you need to do 
I pray and I cry for light as though I have never known him I have seen the value of light it is the light of God by his message that has brought us where we are today and it is that same light that will take us further let me tell you something please hear me do not pride yourself believing that you know enough the Bible says let every man who thinks that he knows knows that he does not know as he ought to that I may know him the realm of knowledge you want an experience with God that gives you power and turns you into a sign and a wonder that the first key is you must cultivate a hunger for him the second key is that you must give yourself to the ministry of prayer and fellowship apostle paul was mentoring the church in corinth and he said the grace of our lord jesus christ he said the love of god and the fellowship from the word koinonia the, the sharing together the participation of the holy spirit he said let it be with you nobody becomes great by mistake the same way no plant becomes a giant by mistake nobody carries a giant tree from the forest and brings it and keeps it it comes as a seed a seed that is well nurtured they that be planted in the house of god the bible says they will flourish in the courts of our god why because primarily they will be under the ministry of pastors according to jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 and i will give you pastors or shepherds according to my heart and they shall feed you with wisdom and understanding paul cried praying for the church in ephesus from chapter 1 of ephesians when you read from verse 15 he cried bowing his knees to the father of glory that he may grant unto the church the spirit of wisdom and revelation that the eyes of their understanding be enlightened that they may know amplified says that your eyes be flooded with light please make it as a project to fight ignorance fight ignorance like you fight cancer fight ignorance like you fight satan the strength of darkness is ignorance Jesus himself knew what he ought to do. It is a risk in this end time to not know what to do. An experience with God comes at the instance of genuine hunger. An experience with God comes when you submit yourself. Let me tell you something about the ministry of hunger. For a long time, your hunger will not look like it will be filled. But you just continue to press and honor that hunger. The day God comes to you, he comes with a compensation plan to reward you for your times of hunger and press. Did the Bible not tell you that he is a rewarder? Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must come knowing two things. Number one, that he is, he exists. And then number two, that he is the rewarder. It's not just what he does, it is his name. But not a rewarder of those who are Christians. A rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And then for prayer oh prayer has rewards please do not let anyone fool you that prayer is just some labor that does not carry power no genuine prayer transforms you and then from the transformed you produces tremendous power through you james chapter 5 and verse 13 he said is any man afflicted he said let him pray the biblical recommendation to manage affliction is prayer when you read down to 18 it says elijah the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much he says elijah was a man of like passion yet through the power of prayer he locked up the heavens that there be no rain for a space of three and a half years and when it was time to open the heavens it was still the same prayer we'll deal with that tomorrow and then the power of the word you must contend for the word you must contend for the word let me tell you something about the manifestation of the presence of god john chapter 14 when you read from verse 21 jesus was speaking and here's what he said he that keepeth my commands he says he it is that loveth me and i will love him is that in your bible and my father will love him and then he says we will manifest ourselves to him then when you read verse 23 he says it again that i will manifest myself to him 
God does not reveal himself at random. He values his own presence. Enough of lukewarm Christianity. Enough of one leg in and one leg out. We have been called corporately to be witnesses of his resurrection. According to Acts 4.33 And with great power the apostles gave witness. Don't say I cannot speak English. Don't say I didn't have the privilege of going to school. Or I didn't go so far to be a professor or a doctor. In as much as all of those provisions are advantages. But I want you to be sure that for everyone who is available, God is more than willing to make you a witness. Beginning here from Jalingo and to the ends of the earth. I believe with all my heart that beginning from tonight, there are worshippers that will rise as witnesses. There are businessmen who will rise as witnesses. There are preachers who will rise as witnesses. It's time to graduate from being a preacher to becoming a witness. It's time to graduate from being a politician to being a witness. Can I tell you, when you are a witness, the one who sent you will defend you and make sure your visibility does not diminish because your presence is important for his reputation. Can we pray for a few minutes tonight? I think this is good for the night. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roam to the King of Kings. We will pray. I don't know from the rising of the sun to the end of every day praise I don't know all the nations of the earth all the angels and the saints sing praise there are two prayer points we are going to pray tonight please don't be distracted prayer point number one lord i am still available and i desire you i dethrone everything that has exalted itself above you and i return back to the place of your presence please lift your voice and begin to pray let that be our first prayer tonight someone pray i dethrone everything You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. 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 Take all of me, all of me. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. My everything, I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus the final prayer point for tonight we're going to pray father every dimension of power and grace are located for my destiny are located for my call 
that has been aborted either through carelessness aborted either through lack of discernment i cry and call for a restoration go ahead someone pray someone pray there are some of us we should not be at this level as far as power with god is concerned as far as our prophetic destinies are concerned someone is praying where are the watchers pray 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 let there be a restoration of hunger restoration of fire restoration of power restoration of the gifts of the spirit restoration of honor restoration of grace hallelujah in the name of jesus please be patient just give me a few minutes and we're wrapping up i want you to listen carefully I want to speak over your life please do not miss any of these sessions and if bishop will allow and give permission then would we'll use hopefully tomorrow night to be able to minister to people and if bishop allows me i request that you come with your prayer request whatever has mocked god in your life i want you to write it let the god that answers by fire visit you hallelujah hear me there was a man in the bible called samson this was a nazarene who had a covenant hallelujah that his hair represented that which kept and preserved his honor his glory and his relevance but through carelessness licentiousness and everything in between he gave himself over very cheaply and there was this spirit that was trapped in a woman called delilah are we together delilah is not just a woman there was a woman who embodied delilah but delilah is a spirit it represents a spirit that is able to seduce men into perversion the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons the character of seduction is that it looks for a need in you and creates a temptation around it if you are not hungry seduction cannot come as food are we together so seduction is built around something that is a need in your life and so samson unfortunately fell into the trap of this woman and gave himself to the philistines but here's where i'm going to they took samson three things happened to samson as soon as they caught samson the first thing that happened was they cut his hair they destabilized the covenant the basis upon which every spiritual activity happened in his life the supernatural in his life was connected to his covenant and his consecration and the moment something happened with that that was it the next thing was they plucked out his eyes access to light notice the progression and then the third thing that happened was he was bound limitation this is always the character of satan when satan comes the first thing is he tries to fight your covenant he will search what is the basis for the favor in your life why are you a politician who is rising and he looks for it if a man of god is the one help that guy my god help them i'm about to pray please hear me if you're a man in politics here let me teach you a secret i know there are people pastors prophets let me say we men of god who take advantage of people but you have to know that your strength the strength of your excelling in this cosmos is your priesthood if your priesthood is not strong you will not stand whether a businessman whether a politician unfortunately unbelievers know this it's more than what they do in the open the strength of their priesthood so the first thing satan fights is your covenant connection when Satan, because don't forget that he was once in heaven 
he knows that nothing supernatural happens in the life of a man like that if you are a man of god and there is great grace upon your life satan will scan through where is the point of your consecration where is the point of your covenant that is his first point of attack represented in the hair of samson you are a worshiper and songs are coming from the spirit there has to be a covenant somewhere that connects that ladder to heaven when satan comes satan does not attack everything every time he looks for the most important thing what connects you to the realm of the spirit in this case your relationship with god and your relationship with those who are connected to god number two he finds your access to light the eyes of samson was plucked away so that you will never have to see anything again that can help him and then number three he was bound limitations when satan does these three things he can put you and begin to mock you they took something who was the warrior of israel and they brought him and an idol before an idol but now here's where i'm going to samson showed that there is something about god they did not know the bible says the lord is gracious and compassionate he is slow to anger and rich in love i may not have eyes again to see my hair may be limited i may be bound hand and foot in chain but there is a god who is merciful and while samson stood before those walls he began to pray a prayer somebody needs to pray tonight and he prayed a prayer of mercy and suddenly the bible records help that man please in the name of jesus christ there is one thing i know about god the moment a man becomes broken and contrite the bible says the lord is nigh them that call upon him those who have a broken and a contrite spirit to be broken means to come to a point where you acknowledge that outside of his assistance you are limited until you can swallow that pride you cannot secure the mercy of god as abundant as the mercy of god is there is a condition that activates it the administration of god's mercy demands that there must be brokenness there are people here under the sound of my voice inside this precious auditorium outside and thousands potentially millions of others listening and watching by way of television by way of internet or by way of a rebroadcast you have heard me preach you've heard the lord speak through this man of god and he's telling you that you need a renewal of your relationship for some of you who are feared or for whatever reason and then those who need to make jesus lord of their lives genuinely this is more than an initiation into a christian faith this is about a relationship that becomes your principal point of connection even to the supernatural here's what the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever so that blessing is for whosoever believes in him that that individual should not perish but have everlasting life he said for god did not send his son to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him everyone who is in christ must have gotten to a point in his life where he made this decision and hear me here at peniel 2022 the spirit of grace again one more time is moving across the length and the breadth of this auditorium and from this auditorium to the nations of the earth and he's calling for people i'm going to make an altar call two in one but please this is not an emotional call you must understand the nature and the character of this call there are people here who have never made it right with jesus perhaps you were invited perhaps you've attended the previous sessions and you're saying apostle while i heard you speak it was like fire in my bones i know that i need an experience with god or those who are saying apostle i remember walking with god once but right now if i am to be honest my life has gone haywire i cannot say i'm a christian but like samson you can find hope tonight i'm going to count one to five by now you should know if you should come out here or sit and if i count one to five i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before jesus here let's celebrate them as they come one
someone is coming Jesus something special supernatural about your name Jesus something happens when I mention three are you coming please if you're coming hurry up let's celebrate them as they come let's celebrate them as they come Jesus said ye must be born again that if you reject him before men on that day he will reject you even before his father I have loved you with an everlasting love he said and I have drawn you with my loving kindness young and old rich and poor male and female Jalingo Jesus is calling come come to Jesus come to Jesus he's able to give you a new beginning you've trusted other things of lesser value trust him with your life hallelujah are you coming I salute every one of you male and female some of you are crying there's nothing to be ashamed of we stand before him the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords the one who is able to show men mercy and the Anglican communion has put this together to give Jesus an opportunity to again visit this land such an honor to have such a harvest of souls young old this is what the gospel is about the power of god that is unto salvation for everyone who believes now please hear me i'm going to lead you to pray very quickly but whilst that is happening you would notice that there are counselors who are passing asleep you don't have to be distracted counselors you don't have to be distracted just pass the sleep and then they pass it to the front or you can give those in front to help so whilst you are praying as the sleep gets to you just gently pick it up and then pass it to another person i want to lead you to pray now the bible says in romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 that the word is nigh thee in thy mouth and in thy heart even the word of faith that we preach that if you confess the lordship of jesus and you believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead that you shall be saved for the law is that with the mouth with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation please suspend filling this form please suspend it for a while counselors let's just be patient let me lead them to pray please suspend filling the form for a minute may i request that you lift your right hand if you can as a sign of surrender and i'd like you to repeat after me you're not reciting a poem jesus christ is in this place and he's ready to hear he's ready to heal he's ready to receive say after me lord jesus one more time shout it say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin of satan of hell and of the grave is broken over my life from tonight i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father we thank you thank you for this harvest of these precious souls and we thank you because only you are able to save these precious people they have come to you and based on the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and i declare in jesus name that you are recipients of the life of god from tonight the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life you go forward ever and backward never 
in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen now please look at me there are a number of you so I will plead that as you move you move carefully so you don't enjoy yourself do take note of the cranes so that you don't enjoy yourself and then help the children while you move where are they to move please direct me someone okay so all of you in concert may I request that you move to my right there are counselors waving their hands as we clap for you all of you will just move they would attend to you very quickly and then you'll be back to your seat let's celebrate them as they go Jalingo, is this the best you can do keep clapping until they go shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will kick down lie you will tear down coming after me there's no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will kick down, lie you will tear down, coming out to me. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming out to me. No wall you will kick down. Overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me, fights till I'm found, leaves the 99. I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming Let me speak over your life now And then we're done for tonight Please hear me Just an encouragement You have a duty tomorrow Do not come alone Do the work of an evangelist don't say there's a crowd of people everywhere inside if there is no space we'll plead with bishop to allow you sit even if it's on the roof hallelujah but your destiny will have to change so go around the city of jalingo and cry like john the baptist in the wilderness let them know that the fire of revival has come to your city hallelujah men women families business people those in government politicians gather um, your colleagues I'm, I'm so honored to have a, a number of the honorable members I was told here and so that somewhere in the service will have the privilege of praying and speaking over these people it's not enough to say they are not doing well we must pray and protect and cover them pro prophetically hallelujah and then do not forget the prayer request please do well to come with it and even for your loved ones who are in diaspora or outside of this location they can send it to you by way of text or whatever and then you can write it down somewhere in the course of the service uh, there's a session in the morning and then the evening session will have the opportunity to pray but let me speak over your life and when i pray i want you to shout a believing amen in the name of jesus i decree and declare over the spiritual atmosphere of jalingo let the heavens be open for encounters tonight visionary prophetic encounters angelic encounters divine encounters in the name of jesus christ hear me whatever represents pain and sadness that you left to come here I decree and declare on your way back me testimonies waiting for you I stand by the God of heaven and I speak to you some of you before 12 midnight this night strange testimonies will be waiting for you
there are many of you that my god who is also your god is opening a book of remembrance this night and hear me anyone who has mocked your god and said where is your god in this conference the god of heaven is about to answer them in the name of jesus and the prophet declared even over samaria and he said by this time tomorrow and someone laughed at him and the bible says that person saw it but he fell at the gate of the city i declare to someone in the name of him who died and rose again literally by this time tomorrow you return rejoicing you return with songs of joy you return with songs of victory in the name of jesus christ and we announce by way of prophecy challenge go hear the word of the lord this season and this week is declared a week of revival a week of fire a week of impartation a week of reawakening in the name of jesus christ as you return back home i declare that you will not be a victim of any kidnapping any violence on the road you are separated even by the spirit of god in the name of jesus and for your sake your loved ones who are not here because you are here may the angel of his presence also touch them in jesus name i pray put your hands together for jesus. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline